Hi, this is Guy Barker here. Welcome to Herbie.org. Today I'm going to give a quick demo of the new text cursor highlight feature in the Herbie Hocus Focus app. Okay, so we have the Herbie Hocus Focus app on the left of the screen and I can tap through it and as I tap through the app I see the uh, thing with keyboard focus get highlighted with a uh, configurable highlight. Now, as I keep tapping, I move to the new feature, which uh, allows me to have the uh, text cursor that's shown, the little vertical line that's shown when I type somewhere, uh, made more uh, clear to me as to exactly where it is. And I can say, I want the highlight uh, for this text cursor to be above the text cursor, or below the text cursor, or both, and I'll leave it as both. And I can have uh, uh, some other settings um, configurable by me to make it more useful to me. So uh, we have the default settings on the screen at the moment and I will now switch to the, um, the Notepad app. Okay, and there is the vertical flashing line in Notepad and there is a triangle to highlight the uh, where that vertical flashing line is above and below the line. And as I type, oops, as I type, the, uh, the highlight moves with that vertical flashing line. Okay, and I, as I use the arrow keys to move through the text, the highlight moves with it. I'll jump word by word there. Okay, now say I want to change how that highlight appears. So I'll switch back to the Herbie Hocus Focus app and say, okay, color, I want to change the color. So unfortunately this color picker is not keyboard accessible, so I either need to use the mouse or touch to change this. So I'll pick some purple color, okay. Okay, then back in the app, Hope you hocus focus that. I say I will say I want it to be those triangles to be bigger, and I want the, uh, so I'll switch back to the app now so we can see what difference that made. Okay, indeed, the color of those highlights have changed and the uh, they are indeed bigger. So I'll switch back to the app and say I want the those triangles to be further away from the uh, the vertical flashing line. So I'll increase what I've called the margin. Make that 30 and I'll switch back to notepad. Yep, and indeed they are further away. Um, and I'll also, actually I'll switch it back to be less than that, say 10, something like that. And now another thing is, say I want to have um, those triangles uh, transparent or translucent, so I can see some of what's behind them. So I'll say I want to make those 50% transparent, then move back to notepad, and there we have you can see some of the text uh, showing through the um, text cursor highlight. And I could in fact make it very translucent indeed, but I won't do that because it's barely visible on the screen now. So I'll switch it back to 50%. There we go. Uh, and another thing uh, you can do is, I'll switch back to the app, is have a hotkey uh, to say, I want the display of the text cursor highlight to be temporarily uh, turned off. Uh, so I will say, I want the function 9 key, the F9 key, to uh, temporarily turn that uh, highlight off. So I'll switch back to the app, uh, to Notepad, sorry. Okay, and I will move through and say, I want to now turn the highlight off. So I'll press the F9 key. And indeed, the highlight has gone away. And when I want it back, I'll hit the F9 key again, and it comes back. Okay, so I will now change uh, the highlight again to be a little less transparent. Oops, a little less transparent. Make the margin a bit smaller, and make it the, the whole thing, the whole highlight a bit smaller. I'll switch back to Notepad, and there we go. Now, so that's Notepad, say I want to um, have the highlight shown in, say I want to use WordPad. So I will bring up WordPad and the actual um, highlight does work in the Windows Run dialog. Okay, and there is WordPad and say I want to make the font bigger so I'll quickly just um, move through the uh, ribbon in WordPad and in fact the text cursor highlight does appear in the in uh, edit fields like the um, 
uh, font size um, edit field here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and so I'll make that say 28. Okay, and now as I type in WordPad, the a text cursor highlight appears there. So I will close WordPad down and start Word. Okay, and again I will make the um, make the font bigger. Make it 28 again, and I can type in here. Now there is a bit of a lag with the text cursor highlight following the um, the um, text cursor in Word, but it generally does its best. And here I have opened up Outlook.com where I could compose a new email and I can type in the subject field and have the text cursor followed and I can then tab into the um, message area and type in there as well and so I can have the text cursor followed in um, a mail message in uh, Outlook.com so there we have the new text cursor highlight feature of the Herbie Hocus Focus app. Now as it happens there are actually a few places where the new feature doesn't really work as expected. So in some apps the visuals shown on the screen for the highlights might not appear as they should or in some other apps it, the new feature can't track the movement of the uh, text cursor. But if you have suggestions as how I can improve the app and make it more useful to you please do let me know at Barker at herbie.org. Thank you.